Hi, it's Shannon Coast Mace R&D. Today we have a small block Chevy cylinder head on the seat and guide machine and we need to put in a few valve guides on this thing. We're going to show you how that's done. I've aligned the valve guides so that they're perpendicular to the core drill we're going to use. I'm going to replace the exhaust guides with a, what's called a false guide which is a small replacement type guide. Change the core drill out for the reamer. We're using a half inch reamer, and the valve guide that we're going to use is actually 502 thousandths in diameter, and that gives us an interference fit of two thousandths. Before I install the valve guys, I'm going to use a brush to clean out the holes to get all the small little fines out so that the guide will go in nice and easy. Somebody had to replace this guide here at one time. We're just going to go ahead and put a new guide in that one while we've got it on the machine. Before I install the guys, I'm going to use a little bit of this lubricant to aid in the process of hammering the guide in in nice and easy. Put a little bit of this down each hole. Then we'll take, put some on each valve guide. Now this guide that we took out of the intake, you notice that these are quite a bit longer. I like to use a universal length guide, that way I can trim it off exactly where I want it. guys are in, I'm going to use a cutoff tool and put that in the machine. I'm going to set my depth on this guy here so I know exactly how to go down to machine the top guide. Last thing we have to do is run a reamer through here just to see that we have the right diameter for the valve. And as you can see, this just goes right in there. Check them all. What we put in. Well, that one there, we gotta knock that one down a little bit. Well, that's it. Now all we have to do is finish up our valve job on this and we'll be ready to go. If you have any questions about valve guide installation, call John at Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.